Shalom, shalom. Kahalo yimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great minister, and the teacher move well. Peace and salutations be to the hopeful elect. I'm Brother Tazam Gabar coming at you from the prophets in Babylon camp here in Tampa, Florida. All right, and this lesson is going to be going into this video. It says, We came to Ottawa. I believe that's Ottawa. We came to Ottawa to talk to the Prime Minister to ask some important questions, but I can't really read that properly because it's the way it's blocked out. Let me see if I can move this video around. Preparing for why are there barriers around both the Parliament important questions, and the White but House? There, a wall all around the building. Yeah. <laughs> is Canada so, and the USA getting ready yeah, for something? Yes, concrete barriers going up all around the White House. All right, beautiful. So there you have it. They got concrete barriers going up all around the White House and the Parliament. Okay? It says, um, barrier going up around Parliament House in Canada, same as White House here in the U.S., man. So, and the video is asking, why are they putting these walls up? I'll tell you why they're putting them all up. They're getting ready to do some shit that's going to make these people upset. You know? And people going to want to beat their ass after what's about to happen, man. Okay? So be ready for riots. Be ready for uproars of the people. Be ready for um, insurgents, man. You know? As the scriptures say, there should be sedition among... Matter of fact, let me grab it. It's going to be a little quick hit because... Uh, let me see. Um, let me grab another precept too. Let me start off with this one. Second mm. Corinthians chapter two and verse eleven: Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So this is one of Satan's. This is a part of Satan's plans. You see, he's going. You can tell he's going to do something he's, by observing what he's doing now. What is he putting out into the world for the, for the world to eat? You know, he's serving them um, mental food. What is, the, what is the mental food he's giving you today? What did he put in the social media today? You know, what did he put on the news today? You can observe what the, the next move and um, be prudent. And I'll predict the next move Esau is about to make with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding gifted to you by the Lord, first and foremost, and by watching. As a prophet, we're called watchers. The Lord called you to be a watchman. So when you're watching and you're seeing what he's feeding to the public, to the people, you're understanding, okay, since he's feeding this to them, he's probably doing this behind closed doors. He's probably planning on doing this. He's probably planning on doing that. All right. This devil's dollar is collapsing um, fast. You know, all the, yeah, I think I said 20 more nations just, matter of fact, I'm going to do a lesson on that after this. So I ain't going to go too much into that. But um, these nations are just throwing away the U.S. dollar, man. And U.S. is, is, is down bad right now. You know, imagine having your own currency that you buy with and um, you got your own business and all the people, your main customers that usually come in, your only customers that come in, they're all switching to a different uh, a different type of currency from another business, you know, and, and you ain't taking that currency there. Your currency ain't working with them, you know, so it's like, OK, what do we do? That business is going to start to panic in order to keep it running because America is a business. That's all it is. It's a business. And what it has is debt slaves. You know, you had back when the um, Rothschilds were in debt. Um, they founded what? They came, they came up with America and said that they would pay it back, pay their debts off through these people. You know, through the people working. You know? It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So a device goes into, like, plans. You know, when you go into the word devices, you goes, it goes into plans. So we ain't ignorant of Satan's devices. Satan goes into oppressor, you know, our adversary. You know, our adversary has plans for us, man. And we're just letting you know that he's about to do something big. He's putting up, he ain't putting up gates or fences. He's putting up concrete walls. Okay. Concrete walls. That's a defense. That's the defense you put up when you're in war. That means you're about to be a war here in, in America, man. It's about to be a great big war. Shit's about to hit the fan, and people are going to start destroying each other. But guess what? They mainly go come from these damn 
the, the damn rulers of this nation and blame them. Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Meaning destruction be to the world and them that dwell in the world. It says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. Okay, so one people going to stand up and fight against another people. Okay. Swords in their hands. What's that? What's the modern day sword? Gun. They might have an actual, you know, sword in their hand. But people are going to take weapons and fight against each other and kill each other. It says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and the one people shall stand up and fight against another. There's going to be wars. Not only just uh, worldwide wars, but there's going to be many wars. There's going to be wars against... From, there are going to be wars with one neighborhood against another, from one house, from one street and against another street, from one block against another block, one house against another house. There's going to be wars. One race of people against another race of people. One political group against another political group. You know? It says, One people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. So great death and destruction is coming. For there shall be sedition among men. Let's go grab the definition of the word sedition before we go any further. Let's see if we can grab it in the blue letter. The blue letter. Matter of fact, it's a block here. It says, Um... Back it up, back it up. Sedition. I typed it in wrong. All right, blue letter for sedition. Okay. And here we have the word sedition. Estadir. 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 All right, so estadir. Estadir. It says, in a bad sense, rebellion. Okay. So, there's going to be a rebellion among men. It says revolt, sedition. Okay? It's going to be a revolt. The people are going to become angry. And um, I remember seeing this one girl come out with this lesson. Not a lesson, it's like, yeah, she came out with a video where she did a, a video about a dream she had. And it was a prophet. It was a prophetic dream. And she said the people were mad. The people were mad at the government. They did something that made them very mad. And they attacked the governments. You know? Well, guess what? That's prophecy. That's written here in Ezra's, man. It says... For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their, their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right, so go, the course of their actions ain't going to no longer stand in the power of the government, so the presidents, it's going to stand in their own power for what they have power to do in their own hands. They got the guns, they got the food, they got the, the <laughs> you know, the luxury to do, what they got the, the tools to do, um, the... What do you call it? What's the word? The rations. You know, if you got enough rations to do this or do that, if you got enough food or or power, firepower to do this or that, this is that they're going to take um, actions into their own hands, man. You know, they ain't going to wait for a say so no more. They ain't going to wait for guidance no more from the governments. They're going to despise governments in that day. They're going to turn against the governments and try to destroy them. You know, they're going to be because they're going to become self-willed, self-ruled. You know, they're going to attack the governments. They're going to attack each other. This place is going to destroy itself before it ultimately gets destroyed by the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Shai. The Lord said, I'll come to send fire on earth, but what will I, and what will I if it already be kindled? This place going, when the Lord pulls up, this place going to already be in, in shambles, you know, because of the wars that's going to take place inside of it and outside of it. Let me grab it. Second Ezra 16 and 34, 16 and 33. Matter of fact, the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. Why? Because in that day, what's going to happen when these women, they're going to be behind their men, looking for them, looking to them to protect them. Not only a majority of men going to get sent across seas to go to war and get their ass beat. They're going to go to war and never return. But also here in Babylon, they're going to fight for their families. The man going to stand up first to fight for his family, to get food for his family, to defend his family, which is his women and children. It says, in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. All right. There you have it, man. Um, in the war shall their husbands be destroyed, or, but shall be destroyed. And the war is going to be taking place over there in, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. You know, over there in the Middle East. You know, a lot of the war is going to take place down over there. 
You know, it says, And the husband shall perish of famine. Now, when you think about this, when you look at this scripture, it makes you, reminds you of this scripture here in the book of Second Ezra, where it talks about All right, in the book of Second Ezra, chapter seven and verse five, or Salakia, verse chapter seven and verse fourteen, they have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready, but none goeth to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Whew. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. All right, so. These husbands, these men, they're going to be out there in the field fighting, fighting, having riots and uproars. And, you know, what do you what do you see when you see these videos, these riots and uproars? Eventually, the woman going to draw back from that shit. You know, it's going to get too violent. These women going to start drawing back and staying at the house. And they're going to let their men go out there and riot and uproar against governments. And, you know, because what? They're going to have troops in the street shooting these niggas down. These women going to these women don't play that shit. They don't they're going to what they're survivalists. They're natural survivalists. So once these troops start coming out to them protests with guns and shit, then the, the citizens and the people are going to bring their guns and they're going to really start going to war against the, the country itself. You know, and these women going to stay at home and they're going to wait for the husbands to return home and they never will. You know, you have troops kicking in their doors and shit, taking their food and taking them and their ass and their kids, you know, and putting them into FEMA camps. Uh, taking everything from them, man. You know, it's really about to get real, real disrespectful out here, man. It's about to get about very dangerous times we're coming into. Okay, scriptures say in the last days, perilous times shall come. When you go into that word perilous, it goes into uh, dangerous, full of risk, you know, full of risks. It's going to be a risk to step outside your door. Okay, it's going to be risky. All right, now I can step outside my door and know that I'm going to be all right, you know. But when I, in those days, try to step outside your door then. It could be somebody waiting out that motherfucker was setting up a trap. It could be a bear trap on your doorstep. You know, it could be somebody with a sniper just sitting on on somebody else's rooftop waiting to snipe your shit, so then come in and take your food. That's the time. Those are the type of times that we're coming into. Traps everywhere, man. You know, and it ain't gonna be no um. It ain't gonna be no mercy in those days. These people gonna be lovers of their own selves. You know, as the scriptures say, uh, last days men's gonna be lovers, uh, lovers of their own selves. You know, because of the iniquity shall increase. Matter of fact, let me grab that. In the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12, And because iniquity shall abound, then the love of many shall wax cold. So, in those days, you ain't gonna see your wife as your wife. You're gonna see her as a liability. You know, something that's dependent upon you. It's gonna see, you're gonna see it as something that's holding you back. You know, but those that they that be in the Lord, those families in the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh they're gonna be taken care of. You are gonna see your wife as your wife. You gonna see your children as your children. But in that day, these people they are gonna see their wife as a liability and their children as food. Okay, those are the type of times we're coming into. But first things first, the, the, before all that even kicks off, they are gonna start attacking these governments and these presidents. So you wonder, you gotta wonder why they putting up brick and concrete walls upon their um, buildings. Because they're about to do some shit now. Some shit's about to take place to where these people are going to revolt. Okay? And it's not going to get no better. Okay? Concrete walls are very durable. Fences, you can climb the fences. All right? Fences can be taken down. But you're going to need real firepower to get through a concrete wall, man. All right? Um, I'm going to rephrase this and I'm going to close out. So it says... Barriers going up around Parliament House in Canada, same as the White House. All right. And, they, and the voiceover guy is asking why. OK, well, now, you know, these devils are planning something that's going to be very big. It's going to change the entire way of the way of, of Babylon, the way of America. It's going to cause these people to get stupid, you know, and stupidity going to lead to what? MOTB going to lead to um, this devil coming down with great wrath. Revelations 12 and 12. But with that one, to give all glory, honor, praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash. To next me, I do say Shalom.